it, it's a very controversial issue because employees need some um, protection for sure. Um, because there are big companies that might take advantage of them and because it gives them confidence to know that the state is protecting them in their jobs because they are not qualified to be doing that kind of protection themselves. Uh, on the other hand, a, a, an employer needs flexibility. An employer knows that if you, if you cannot uh, get rid of the, uh, of the worker if uh, he doesn't need the worker, then he, he'll think twice before hiring the worker, before opening a job position. So the question is, where do you draw the line? If you go the way that Spain went, for example, it would, it would, you have very poor outcomes, like they're, like they're experiencing now. That kind of protection is obviously too much, and you shouldn't have it. Um, if you go the example of the United States, where there's almost no protection at all, again, you get poor outcomes, because you get high unemployment, you get a lot of inequality when you don't protect low-income jobs. Um, but on the whole, our experience is that, um, is that we're better off if we are closer to the United States uh, paradigm than uh, the Southern European one. Spain, Italy, Greece, they're all in the same, uh, at the same level. And, um, and, and Britain really has, has very, very few restrictions, again, compared with the uh, other European countries, I think. I think it's the most flexible country, in fact, in Europe, in uh, firing employees. So I, I don't see any need to uh, improve the situation very much here. Whatever improvements you do, they will be at the margin and they're not going to have a much impact on what's happening in the labour market.